Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. So today I thought we would get our inventory screen worked up a little bit because right now it's very plain. So I'm going to, let's see, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and duplicate. Oh, you can control W, I keep forgetting about that, but someone told me about you can hit control W and that's a, a way to duplicate I always just right click because that's just I don't know what I've gotten used to but I'm gonna drag it out I'm gonna scale it down a little bit and up a little bit because I want it to fit kind of inside like that but I'm gonna change its color which under appearance color and opacity you can change it I'm gonna change it to Blue? Blue, why not? I'll go with that Final Fantasy type look a little bit. And I'm going to set its opacity to about 0.85, so it's not quite as translucent as the other one. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to grab one more of these, duplicate or control W, yeah. I'm going to shrink it up about that big, scale that side in that side in. I'm just kind of eyeballing right now. You can just kind of eyeball it. Oh, it needs to be a little bit smaller. That looks decent. And I'm going to change its opacity to a full on one and just leave it black. I might change... Nah, it looks decent. It looks alright. It looks aight. I'll change its color though. Maybe like a grayish. I'm not the best at designing, but it's just, you know, it, it'll work for what we're doing. <laughs> the most important thing is the functionality, and you can design this any way you want. You can even stretch this out as far as you want to make room for more buttons. Oh, if you do something like that, and you're like, oh crap, I didn't want to do that, just control Z, takes it right back to the way it does. See? Undo. So that works. But, um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag out this an image file. What size were our buttons? 75 by 75? So maybe 50-50? Because for this, I want to keep track of our gold. Because our character's gonna be making lots of money. Killing folks, getting dollar bills. I had a lot of coffee. I'm a little bit amped up. I. Hopefully it will not get annoying, but let's scroll down, because I'm going to be using the craft resources icons this time, because it's got this. It's called spare parts, but it looks like gold coins to me, so that's what it's going to be. So under appearance, instead of color and opacity this time, we want the brush. And we want to just do that right there. And there's... There's that. So, I'm going to compile... I'm going to drag out a text block. I'm going to put it where I want it. Is, is 50 too small? Maybe 75 and 75. Is that too big? Is that? That's a bit big. I'm going to drop back down 50, 50. I'll drag this over. I'm going to set its justification, which is under appearance, all the way at the bottom, justification. I'm make sure it's aligned text to left, so that when it starts, let's just show you, it'll always start here and just go on, which we don't want it to be a bunch of G's and H's. We're going to set it to zero to default, just for testing purposes it'll obvious or er, it'll of course be different in the actual game so I'm gonna open up my character real quick right click edit player BP and I'm gonna make sure that my players stats gold I'm gonna move that to inventory if you want to relocate variables you can just click hold and then drag it to the the category you want or you can click it 
and right over here you can click the drop down and adjust it or type in a new one and that'll give you a new category but I'm gonna set that into the inventory because that makes more sense then under content for our text I'm going to bind that to a variable it might already have one actually set up so let's see I'm gonna click through real quick if you were following along you may have already gotten this one set up too so ah get text 8 so instead of creating another one oh that's wrong okay so instead of creating another one I'm just gonna say get text 8 and now that'll be adjusted accordingly the font change it italic I like italic set my font size to 30 which I'll oh something I just thought of bear with me for one second there's a place where you can get a lot of free fonts I think it's called the font yeah the font download fonts check this out you can go to this website and in case you don't like the generic font that it has you can how do you do the thing again you can there's a way to search for free fonts but they have all kinds of free fonts they look really cool so they got all kinds of stuff you can check its license on this side like this hundred percent free you can use it for any purpose you want video games animations anything you want so this is a really cool website to throw into your uh, resources list but that aside I'll, I'll just leave this like this for now I'm not gonna go change in all that um, so I'm going to right click this one, duplicate one more time just because I want to add a little top icon thing about here. don't want it going off screen, but I want it to be about there. No, about there. That works. No, it doesn't. About there. That works. And I'm going to drag out another text block. And I'm going to type in, not that one, inventory, boom. Which actually, I'll move it that way a little bit. Looks decent. Then we want to get a bunch of buttons. Well, not a bunch. We want to get one, and then we'll just set it up and then duplicate it out. So the other ones are 75 by 75, so I'm going to go with, no, not that. All right, 50, 50. Our inventory for the tutorial series is going to be more like Zelda style, so everything will already have its set place, and then you pick it up, and then you have more. But there are a bunch of other, we might go over a more complex inventory system later on but for right now we want to go through part of our quest line is going to be finding herbs in order to craft a potion to heal homeboy in the village that we find so I'm gonna take this one nope nope this one it looks like something that I don't know if I can say on YouTube but it looks like something that I'm a fan of so I'm gonna leave it like that <laughs> but I'm gonna put it in here under appearance, under normal, you can just click this arrow once you have one selected in your content browser. You want to make sure it's drawn as an image under all of them. Um... Oh, nope. If you prefer, you can remember the name of it and then just go through and be like, oh, uh, this one. But the other way, I like the other way better personally. Personally. So we want to set the hovered tent to just a smidgen darker that's not a smidgen that's a quite a deal darker I'm just gonna set it to 0.1 but that way when we of course like the other buttons it'll hover over and let us know which one we're hovering on so that's for the green herb now I'm gonna right click duplicate 
Oh, I haven't adjusted its anchor, so it's way over here. I'm going to drag it over. I'm going to click the first one. It's position on the X, I think, is the one we're going for. Yeah, X, 1108. So I'm going to set that just 1110. And also 1110. For this one, I'm going to set up another herb, a yellow herb. Something for, so when we craft, we're gonna need a couple different herbs to put together so that we got, you know, it's not just a bunch of green herbs crafted into it. It can be just so we can go over some some cool crafting things later on, where it's like you gotta have this much and this much and this much, and then you can craft this, you know, like like a like a crafting system. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna right click since it's since we're duplicating that first one, it's already got. The hovered setup, so I'm gonna right click, duplicate, or control W. I'm gonna drag this one over. Nope, 1110, 208, 284, 364, let's see, 200, 275, 350. It's a lot easier to make these look more uh, organized and grid-like if you go by increases like that so like this one starts at 200 this one's 75 lower this one's 75 lower than that one and so on but for that last one we will go with berries why not for our hunger system that we'll put in in a bit not that berry yeah. It's only got the one berry. Let's go for blueberries. Oop, stupid. You can use either ones you like. I just like the ones that look like this. I don't know why. But this will be when your character harvests these. Maybe sometimes they find a berry and it, it'll help with their hunger system if you don't have any meat. But of course, we're going to have meat. So I'm going to duplicate it again. Where did it go? What happened just now? What in the world? Okay. Control Z. Control Z. Where did that one go? That was trippy. Okay. Alright then. Right click, duplicate. Try not to send it into oblivion again. Oof. I gotta be careful. Let's see, one, 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 zero. The last one was 350, right? So the next one will be 425. 425. And I'm just gonna have four items in my rows, so I'll change that up a little bit. That down a little bit. And for this row, let's see. I had all of these picked out, and now all of a sudden I'm like, which one do I want to use? I don't remember. But let's go. Oh, right, right. Up here, towards the top, there's these fancy little stones. I'm going to grab this one, because it looks kind of like an iron ore a little bit, and that'll be what we use to upgrade our sword and shield when we get to that point. Because we're going to go over how to upgrade weapons that will increase their weapon level, shield level, armor level, all that, all that fun stuff. So, now, I'm going to select all of them, and I'm going to try out the control W. And I don't know if it'll work when you have that many selected. So, you know, I'm just going to do it that way, and control W. Ah, okay, you can't control, you can't duplicate a bunch of them at once, apparently. Oh, well. So, these are 110, let's try 1210. 1310. 1260. 1260 works, that's a 150 increase. This one is 200, so I'll set this one to 200 as well. This one, I want to be 
raw meat so that when we hunt our animals later we actually get food for it um, you so boom 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 and then duplicate select what was it 1260 by 350 no 275 all right so if we got raw meat we are of course going to also want cooked meat so we can take it to a campfire and cook that stuff up you don't want to be eating a lot of raw meat right click duplicate select let's see 1260 by 350 that's right this time and something else you get from animals leather where is the leather that's wood leather 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 where you oh there you at I'm gonna go with that one I like that one I'm gonna use that don't look like leather that looks like some kind of dirty napkin but I'm gonna use it anyway so leather let's see duplicate grab it 1260 by 425 and this one will be that works it'll be like um Uh, armor increase kit. I don't. I don't know yet. <laughs> I guess that one will be that. Yeah. So you get the leather, you get enough of them, you can craft an, craft an armor increase kit, and then use it on your armor in order to increase your defense. So yeah. Now three more buttons, and then I know this is probably boring, so I'll just get through it real quick. I'm um, gonna go with this one as a health potion because I'm gonna have a health potion and a mana potion and show y'all how to go over putting those in so duplicate come over here the last one was 150 increase 1260 plus 150 would be 1310 200 let's see if that looks about no apparently not oh no, because I'm, I'm bad at math. 1410. So, boom, boom, boom. I'll just do two more, two, just one more after this. So, duplicate. And then we'll get to the coding part of it. So, 1410 to 75. And then I'm going to pick another potion. I'm going to pick that potion go in here boom 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 and you know what that looks decent enough for now I'm actually gonna change this justification to right and move it over here just so the menu seems a little bit more balanced the gold can fill it from over here so now that we got that let's we got let's take note of what items we got we got green plants yellow plants blueberries or raw meat cooked meat leather armor kit and two potions so now I'm gonna go into my player blueprint and under its inventory thing oh I already got green plants and raw meat that's right so what we'll do now since I got the green plants let's duplicate that one let's say yellow plants I want you to buy the green plants though. Raw meat, I'm gonna right click duplicate and cooked meat. If it, uh, somebody was telling me, uh, I think it was the same guy who said the control W thing. If you click it and then hit F2, it automatically makes it to where you can rename it. I usually try to do this and then click it again. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it opens up that compiler thing 
but F2 works pretty well. But got raw meat, cooked meat, blueberries, that's right. So that's under plants. I'm gonna duplicate the plants one. Blue berries. Get up there. Not there though. What was that bottom one? Or well, I'm gonna right click, duplicate this one. Say, nah, leather strips. Right click, duplicate armor kits. Right click, duplicate iron ore. Let's see. Green leaf, yellow leaf, blueberry, iron ore, raw meat, cooked meat, leather, armor kit, two potions, and then that's it. So, duplicate one more time. Health potion. Duplicate mana potion. Compile all that, come out to your main menu, save all. Super important. Don't know if I've mentioned that before. Super important. Then we're going to drag out a text block and set it close to it. You don't want to bind it to it, but you want to set it close. I'm going to set its um, size to about 15. I'm going to size it to content. And I'm going to just put an X. I'm going to set it to italic. Maybe 10. Is 10 too small? 10 too small. 15. 15 is decent enough. I'm going to set it real close to it. Just outside of its button range. So, that'll work. And then I'm basically just going to duplicate it for all of them. And menu building is a tedious process. I'm I'm sorry if this one's boring. I'm just gonna do the first three or four. Show you how. To, well, no, we'll go over the whole thing together. Eleven sixty-five and two thirty. So eleven sixty-five and three o five. That way it's also 75 down. Duplicate. Grab. We can actually... No. Let's see if that one's 380 plus 75 would be 455. Somewhere along that lines, right? Oh well. And right click, duplicate. do it that way. So 1165, 1260, 1110 to 1165, that's a 55 increase. So 1260 plus 55 would be 13, 15, 13, 15. My math is weak. So <laughs> Let's see, that one's down 230, so 230. We can actually speed up the process by duplicate, select the bottom one, 
13, 15, select that one, 305, back to the bottom one, 305. Right click, duplicate, this one is, no, no, we want that bottom one. 13, 15 by 380. Sorry if I'm jumping around too fast, I just, I know this part's kind of boring, so. 1315, 455. 455. Right click, duplicate. Let's see, it's plus 55, so 1410, so we're looking at 1465. So 1465 by, what was it, 230? 230. It's handy to keep a notepad by you. I do not have a notepad by me, so I'm trying to just remember. Let's see. 1465. 1465 by 305. 305. Okay, cool. So now, compile back to our green plant, select its text, and we'll hit bind, create a binding. We'll drag this back, find our player reference, get player reference. To drag that off, promote to a local variable, and just call it X. No, that's not the name of it. Well, you know what? It works. And I'm going to put X in there. Now I'm going to take that off. I'm going to drag out. And I'm going to type in append. What is happening? Context sensitive. Oh. Append. It'll convert it automatically. But we want to get our green plants. And then convert that to that, and then put that to there. What this does is it'll allow an X to be at the thing, so it's not just going to have the number. It'll have the X and then the number it gets from here. Append it to that variable and then show that. So, for example, right now we have zero green plants. Okay. But I'll open my menu, go to my inventory, and now I have X zero. One thing we need to do for that though is on its variable I'm going to do an X and then space space maybe two spaces let's try it out M open my inventory maybe one space be all right oops just one space so it'll take everything in here and append it to that number so any space is included but now that we have that one, we don't have to create it every single time. So, test it one more time, just because I like to be thorough. That'll work. That works. Looks pretty. Let's get on to it. So, same thing for the next one. So, we want to go in here, bind it, create binding. Mm -hmm. Okay, we want to go back to get text 10. And we want to delete that and delete the local variable. I thought local meant to the inventory screen, but let's drag this off. Let's drag this off. Context sensitive. Promote to variable. And this one will be X. And we want to compile real quick. And X space done. Now it'll be accessible to all of them. So back to get text 11, drag out our get x, append, actually let's simplify it, I'm going to drag this back away, so I'm going to just box select everything except for the green plants, control c, and then we can control v, hook that there, drag that back, get yellow plants and just plug it in like that. I'm going to drag that down like that, put that in place, 
control C all of that. Compile. Back to the designer. Same thing for the next one, create binding. Now I can just control V, type in blueberries, plug it in, plug it in. So it'll help speed up things quite a bit. So bind, create binding, control V, drag it back, I R O N. Plug that in back to the value, compile, designer, bind, control V, hook that up, raw, Monday Night Raw, sorry, now under content, bind, create binding, control V, hook that up, cooked meat, Compile, designer, let's see this one was leather, so create binding, control V, player ref, uh, leather strips. It's a long and tedious process, but it'll look decent after we're already all done, so create binding. And just as a refresher, I'm going to drag out the player ref. I'm going to drag out my X variable. I'm going to do it manually one more time, just, just to, as a refresher. Drag out, untick context sensitive, type in append, and plug that in there. Drag this back. This was the armor kits, I think, right? So get armor kits, and plug that in there, compile. So it's that easy to do it manually. I'm going to go back to doing it the other way just to speed things up so control V health potion what was this one? is it a mana potion? it is a mana potion okay find our last thing control V boom mana no get mana potion there we go hook it up boom righteous so now just to make sure it's all functioning the way we want to looking good so far let's test out some harvesting and when I go in my inventory yep I have a green plant now set up to give me leather yet, or to give us leather rather, but I'm going to just make sure that the meat is counted in the right spot. I hope PETA doesn't find this video. So let's check it one more time. Our inventory, and it's got some meat. Sweet. So all this is working now, and the next one will go over hmm, what will we go over in the next one? There's some more functionality we can build in this one. We'll update the uh, plants to give you berries occasionally uh, and the meat to give you leather at a later time. Next one we'll go over is the crafting menu. So Thanks for stopping by. See y'all in the next one.